Alrighty, still on page 289 of the GoMath textbook. Let's just go over a couple, a few more examples. A store receives tomatoes in box of 40 tomatoes each. About four tomatoes per box cannot be sold due to damage. So they're bruised, they're just in bad condition, they won't sell. So the expression 40B minus 4B gives the number of tomatoes the store can sell from a shipment of B boxes. Simplify the expression by combining like terms. So they give you a lot of information here, but look, this is really all we're doing. We're doing simplifying the expression. They gave us the expression 40B minus 4B. So really all we're doing is taking 40 minus 4 and adding a B behind it. That's essentially what we're doing here, okay? So 40 minus 4, 36, and then we add a B behind it. Okay, we're combining these. Now, we could make a bar model, of course, but this problem really isn't practical for that because you would have to do 40, 40 boxes with Bs in them. So really, essentially, all you're doing, 40B minus 4B, 40 minus 4, 36, and then the B stays, okay? Number four, each cheerleader uniform includes a shirt and a skirt. Shirts cost $12 each, skirts cost $18 each. The expression 12U plus 18U represents the cost in dollars of buying however many uniforms you want. That's why they use a variable. You could have a team of 10, you could have a team of 15, but it doesn't matter whatever you have, 10 or 15, you can use this expression and plug in those numbers to see the cost. Okay. But really, this is what we're doing. We need to simplify the expression by combining the like terms. So here are my terms, 12u and 18u. They both have the same variable, u, and they both have the same exponent, which they have no exponent. Uh, or we could say they have an exponent of 1. So they have the same variable, the same exponent. So essentially all we're doing is adding 12 and 18, but then just tacking on our u at the end. So 12 plus 18 is 30. So our new expression would be 30 u. Okay. Very, I mean, yeah, once you break it down, it's very, actually very simple math. Essentially here, the only math you're doing is 40 minus 4. Well, that takes us back to what? Second, third grade? The only thing that's different here is we're adding that variable, but the variable doesn't change the math that we're doing. Okay. Same thing here. Essentially all we're doing is 12 plus 18. Back to second grade, right? We're just including that variable onto it as well now. All right, number five, a shop sells vases holding nine red roses and six white roses. The expression 9V plus 6V represents the total number of roses needed for V vases. So if you buy five vases, 10 vases, no matter what, we can use this expression to find out how many roses are needed. But this is what they're asking us to do, simplify by combining like terms. Well, our two terms are 9v and 6v. So they both have the same variable, v, and they both have the same exponent, which they neither one of them have an exponent in this case. So all we're essentially doing is doing 9 plus 6. And then we just attach that v. So 9 plus 6 is 15, and then we attach the v. Okay. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.